New sponsor this week, so pay fucking close attention. It's thebooks.com, T-H-E-B-O-U-Q-S.com. Books, like short for bouquet, because they make and deliver beautiful, modern, rustic bouquets. Their flowers are cut the day you order them, which means that they get to you sooner and they last longer. They're from the side of an active volcano. These flowers are grown in volcanic, mineral-rich soil. They're shipped direct to your door, from Ecuador. And the closer to the equator means more sun for your flowers. Basically, this is an example of smart people building a nice, clean, easy-to-use website that sort of turns a shitty old-school industry on its head and says, no more. No more upsells. No more hidden costs. No teddy bears, cheap candy, or vases. Shipping is free. Always what you see is what you get. There's no bait and switch. It's the perfect gift for the holidays and for Valentine's Day. Flowers are also a good gift for, like, a random day because people are always expecting flowers on their birthday or Mother's Day or Father's Day. But if you get someone you love flowers on just a random day, not only is it cheaper because it's not, you know, high season, but they'll appreciate it more. That's a little life hack. Get someone flowers for no reason at all. Cheaper price, more appreciation. They don't have to know that I told you to do that, okay? They, they'll they think... <laughs> They're so dumb, they'll actually think you thought of it by yourself. And to make things even cheaper, you can get 15% off your order if you use the promo code If I Were. That's it. If I Were is the promo code. But hurry up because the deal expires January 27th. Again, the promo code is If I Were to get 15% off your gorgeous Books flowers only at thebooks.com. Okay. Uh, This is it. This is our uh, best of episode, best of 2014. We actually recorded an intro for it already, uh, Jake and I did, before we had a sponsor. So a lot of the jokes are about how we don't have an advertisement for the episode, which is really mm, ironic if you think about it. Anyway, let's toss it over to me and Jake. No sponsor this episode, just us saying thank you to you. Wow. That's right, the listener. You guys are the sponsor for this episode. So check yourselves out. <laughs> Buy underwear from you. Yeah. But get snacks delivered for you. 20% off for you. being you. <laughs> yeah. The coupon code is our love. So please check them out. This is really bad. <laughs> it's kind of nice that like you guys don't have to listen to an ad, but kind of <laughs> shitty that we aren't getting money. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, we're not getting money for this. So don't be happy about there not being a sponsor. Yeah, even if you're like anti-consumerist, sort of like, mm-hmm. oh, you get off to free content, you know, like totally ad-free environments. Yeah, just know we're not making <clears throat> cash. So how's that fair? And I'm sad. How is that good? I don't think it is. Uh, this is our last episode of the year. We made it a, bust, a best of episode, so it's just going to be our favorite questions and <laughs> That's answers. That's right. We couldn't get it sponsored, so we decided not to really do it. <laughs> well, it's better than a, a, a regular one because the regular ones like has highs and lows these are just the highs from the entire year oh that's a nice way of looking as at it. voted on by our awesome fans let's give them a shout out right now the subreddit fans r slash jake in the mirror if you guys are interested in a community of like-minded people we highly suggest going to reddit.com backslash r backslash jake in the mirror oh, that's a fun this episode is brought to you by our subreddit yeah actually let's see if we can charge cash for it yeah let's try to penny pinch this a little bit <laughs> uh oh I'm, i think it'd be fun to separate all the questions and answers with our best theme songs of the year too oh so that's it really idea. yeah it really is the best of uh once again thank you so much for listening throughout the year we're done it's over we're not going to do it in 2015 yeah. because podcasts are sort of passe it was fun we had a good run but now we're done <laughs> <laughs> actually we do have to keep going maybe oh. yeah maybe forever that's fair so we will be back next week It was fun. We had a good run. And we're not done. (laughs) So we'll see you next week. Hey, see you next year. (laughs) Enjoy, guys. We had, yeah, this is good. I'm smiling. Okay. (laughs) Okay, yo. See, I hate to admit it. I got a problem. Stuck with these thoughts. I can't seem to stop them. Truth is, I'm afraid to ask. ask. My mom and dad, wait, what's this podcast? Have? It's Jake and Amir. 
It's if I were you, you show where two Jews make fun of you. You but joke after joke, they get to the advice. It's so good, you'll probably fucking play it twice. Stop bitching, these dudes have the remedy to aid you or even help you see the cheese. So please turn this shit up. We get it, your life's tough, but it's all messed up. Stop. This will be the only thing you need in your life. A laugh or two, and some decent advice. Grab a beer, sit and cheer. Jake and Amir had vice his right here. You know what? This one is written by a British guy. I think like you you should read it because ah. you got the I feel like you can do a good funny British accent. Excellent. So uh, this one is written by give him a British name and then read that question. This is from Humphrey. Tidsman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Humphrey Tidsman writes, um, I'm writing you from jolly old England with quite a predicament. I've recently moistened a, re- <laughs> <laughs> a relatively long dry spell. We're talking Moses in the desert long. With a complete and utter tuppence, I'm punching well above my weight. We get along really... This is unpunctuated... <laughs> This is totally unpunctual. It's a dribble. <laughs> it's a run-on. Uh, I'm punching well above my weight. We get along really well with this female, and we are currently in a friends with benefits situation. <laughs> but I would like to tie this girl down, both metaphorically and literally, if you know what I mean. I like ropes and shit. <laughs> After a night of beverages... S. She let she let it slip that getting her balloon knot licked sends her wild. Is this a thing? <laughs> this is an actual oh, email hum- I got. Oh, Humphrey. <laughs> I, on the other hand, have never enjoyed doing this, as I feel it's degrading, and this girl thinks less of me for eating where she shits. And having put off doing it as I would like this F's and with B situation flourish into a relationship right should i bite that brown bullet and swallow her ass or maintain my moral stature and stick to a purely pink diet <laughs> holler back at your boy humphrey Signed, humphrey tidsman <laughs> wow i can't believe we were going to answer that question one time without you here reading it oh my god that was fucking i made my life just uh... <laughs> i'm so conflicted by that well would you eat a girl's butt if she really wanted you to <sighs> I this guess you'd have is, to, I'm right? I'm a very open guy. I take all comers in the bedroom, but I gotta be honest, I don't want to put my tongue in a butthole. Because that's where the diseases that's are. Where the poo comes. I'll put my dick in there, I'll put my fingers, I'll put a lot of things in there. Just not your my taste buds. Tongue. What if she's like, I'll wash it, I'll, I'll scrub myself. <laughs> bone <laughs> clean. That. I mean, if it's bone clean, what does it matter? I, guess little, I would do it if it's bone clean. Or you can wrap your uh, tongue in a saran wrap. Dude, I'll I will fuck. I'll You'll lick an ass. Of course, <laughs> I, will, I I mean I wouldn't. I it, I would. I'm trying to think of a girl's like who I've gone down on whose ass I haven't licked. Oh my god, I love You'll licking an ass. Mama, turn down the podcast, baby. <laughs> My mom listens here. <laughs> does she really? She listens to the podcast, but and I will say, mom, she does listen to me when I tell her to turn it off. Don't even turn it down. There's not a lot left, so let's just turn off the podcast, mom. <laughs> it's too late. You already said you can't. I will. A girl I like ass. You didn't lick, dude. I will <laughs> lick. I lick ass all day. I love licking ass. That's my boy. <laughs> I taught him well. Lick a butthole. Lick a butthole, dude. It is. Oh, oh my god. I'll, I mean. I'm 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 happy that there's a girl out there that's like I want that shit done to my butt. Yeah. And I feel for that guy like that's a weird predicament that I'd probably be in of being like I want to do all kinds of things to that butt. My licking. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I feel like I feel like if maybe she just likes her butt to get attention and you don't necessarily have to lick her oh. butt. But say hey about what how about when you're like eating her out you're you like drool you spit a little oh. bit out. Oh. Take some of the uh take some mom you're definitely not listening. <laughs> Take take some of her pussy juice and sort of like <laughs> tickle her asshole with your with your middle finger. Yeah, she won't know that it's not your tongue. <laughs> yeah, She's... Jake, I want to know. Okay, now I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask you, please. So you're you're. What do you do? How do you? Is that what you do? You get you're you're just spitting it. You clean it with spit. If I'm oh, if I'm going down on somebody, how if I'm like, not, how do you? How in your mind are you not like there's poo particles? There's poo particles. There's I don't. Poo I don't care if there's poo particles. I I, I don't like, care. There's dude. here's the thing. 
Here's been what poop I'll on say. My penis. There's well, there's on us. There's poop particles. Yeah. We have hairy asses. We like shit. There's like there there's <laughs> there's dingleberries. We wipe our ass and I'm then like squealing. it just like smears <laughs> shit all up our ass crack. There's shit. Our asses are caked in shit. All we do when we wipe is just wipe our ass raw enough to the point where there's not like at least shit showing up on the toilet paper so we can convince ourselves that we're clean. I'm I mean, not girls, arguing. This is girls perfect. Don't this have, is my this is my case. But see, but <laughs> girls don't have girls don't have hairy assholes. Mm, I've they wipe, seen they them. clean. They're they have like three hairs on an oh, ass. I've seen a hairy ass. Have you seen a, a girl? <laughs> I'll admit that I've seen a hairy <laughs> ass, but it's been they're few and far between. It's true. And I I would love like I'll eat out a girl and I'll hold her knees by her ears and just lick her from crack to clit. <laughs> Jesus. I know. Christ. I know, dude. <laughs> This is not... Holy moly. <laughs> and to think Look. we were going to end it. To think this wouldn't have existed. What I really genuinely luck. think Licked you her from, should... You've had to have said that before. <laughs> I, Lick her from crack I, to clip. I'm all about getting I, nasty. I love the nastiness. I know you There's do, no I, and I can more. sense that from you, and I love it right now. I love the nastiness. It, I want more nastiness always in my world. Yes. There's just a thing... There's a gag reflex that won't allow you. They go and they eat the poo poo. <laughs> Why do you want to eat the poo poo? It comes out of the butt. Oh, I love it. I like that. It's it's this private <clears throat> hole that no one's allowed access to. It, oh, I want to get it. I'll, I'll diddle it. I'll slap. I'll spank it. I'll spank uh-huh. it. I'll spank yep. it. It's the tongue thing. I think. So to answer, let's answer this guy's question. Yeah. Oh, Jake says go for it. Fucking yeah. Be a man. I w- uh, yeah it, because I think he's like I don't want to do it. It's degrading. I don't That's think she. I don't think end. she's. I don't think she's being <laughs> like, like that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this motherfucker to lick my ass. I'm gonna be. I'm the best. <laughs> oh yeah. This dude's yeah, gonna yeah. fucking eat my asshole. She's just like, yo, I like it when my it tickles. Yeah. It feels good. Sure. I think, and she likes you. She asks, she feels comfortable enough to ask you to do it. It's like show. It's like telling you her fetish. Right. Yeah. I think that's nice. I think it was intimate. I think you should do it if you like her. I guess if you physically that's can, true. you should go for it. If you're like totally like gonna gag and puke and like not be. All about it. Maybe you can meet her. You can. It might feel good. Oh dear oh my God! God. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah but, but let me rate it at. <laughs> oh God! This one's gonna be a rated E for explicit. <laughs> <laughs> Not for everyone. To help you out If I were you If I were you If you want advice I'll tell you what to do If I were you If I were you The show starts now A female named Reese Witherspoon That's right Ms. Witherspoon herself. <laughs> Ms. Ryan Phillippe herself. Herself. Herself writes. Hey guys, here's my problem. My phone got taken away from me from one of my friends. What happened was that in biology class we had a sub, and I let him use my phone because his got broken for a while, and I let him use it a couple times before. He admired my phone and wanted to get it, but he never had enough cash. So I gave him my phone, and he asked me if, I, if he could use it for his last class. He told me to meet up with him after school, and he stood me up. I knew that I would get it back the next day, but he didn't come to class for the past two days, and now we have a long weekend from family day. I haven't told anyone except my friends, and they tease the shit out of me. Here's my question. How do I get my phone back? Love, Reese Witherspoon. Reese. No sh- yeah, I would, make, I would make fun of you, too. Reese got robbed. Did she say her substitute teacher stole her phone? The su- Did I, I read that wrong? I can't tell if the sub took it or her friend took it. Or her friend is a substitute teacher. Or, yeah, or like they... I don't know. I guess... We had a sub, and I let him use my phone because his got broken for a while. Yeah, right? A substitute <laughs> teacher robbed you? Is that illegal? That's definitely illegal. That's so funny. It's like Why would you ever... I don't understand why people are letting anybody use their phone in any situation. <laughs> like, I can be... I don't even feel comfortable when somebody is like... When I'm in my car and someone's like, here, I'll do, I'll do directions. I'm like, fucking thanks, but use your shit, ass. We both have ways. 
<laughs> and I don't see why my phone has to be the, the navigational phone. I like to feel it vibrate in my pocket. It yeah, makes me comfort it. It's like when I ask you for what time it is, you squeeze your phone against your chest and peer at it really <laughs> subtly and be like 5.52. KG, KG like an animal. You, you never just zoo. show me the screen. Yeah, it's private. <laughs> I got a lot of secrets on there. Uh, so this substitute, poor substitute teacher who... Borrowed this girl's phone and then just didn't show up. And then admired it. (laughs) How do you steal a phone anyway? It's like, oh, I got a new phone. This phone number is, I guess, somebody else's phone number, but it's my phone now. How do you even admire a phone? (laughs) I don't understand that. What kind of phone did he have that was so shitty that he admired a phone? He had a he had a crazer. He had a crazer. A Motorola had. She had a chocolate crazer. An iPhone 2S. It didn't even matter. It was just so much better than the Crazer. He couldn't believe there was email on it. <laughs> and this is actual? So this is just real mail? Or ha- I'll figure it out. This is nutso. Can I borrow this for um, a day? Everybody get out your Bunsen burners. <laughs> I am, uh, I'm going to download Tinder. Uh, sir, I think you have my phone. I have my phone! <laughs> I I'll meet you phone. after school. I promise. Now, uh, sit down or you fail today, I think. <laughs> and he skips town on this three-day weekend. Unfortunately, he's got an extra day to pack now, sister. <laughs> Sorry, Reese, but he's on a Greyhound bus straight out of to anywhere know, the, but the here, backwoods USA. of West Virginia or wherever <laughs> it sounds like you're from that nobody had, that people are just jacking phones that are mildly nice. <laughs> Needless to say, this family day is going to be one for you to remember. What is family day? I don't know. Cool. Uh, so what should this girl do? Um, um, tell your parents. Yeah, tell on him. Yeah, you got to be a tattletale in this, uh, in this instance, I, I think. I think you have to tell a principal or a teacher that a sub stole your phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what you do. Go to a person of authority. And I don't know why you even told your friends, because, of course, they're going to make fun of you. I feel like the principal is just going to crack up. The principal, yeah. The pri- <laughs> so what happened? Well, you know, Mr. Wallace, the substitute teacher, he, uh, I let him use my phone for a day, and he never came back. Well, gee whiz, Reese. Uh, <laughs> here, I'll get the phone back. The principal falls in love with it. I don't know. I really admire this phone. So, uh, so yeah, I think it's... Uh, I think it's mine. You're expelled. <laughs> what? Yeah. I'm keeping the phone as um, <clears throat> evidence. If you're in a sticky situation, Think that you might need a place to run and try to hide away. Look no further than a mirror and jay. Can your burdens they will gladly take? I may have overstayed that. Oh, these dudes will give you some good advice, or at least they'll try. Actually, I can. Promise you that, but they will do their best to make it funny. Don't write in the less just honey. Be unself aware. Oh. <clears throat> Give me a man's name. A man's name? Uh Geronifeld. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. It's like if my last name was also a giraffe. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm emailing because recently I was pressured into launching a compressed air cartridge in the middle of class. My friend said it would be hashtag dope and it wouldn't go anywhere. It would just die down and spin on the ground a lot. But it frickin' flew. (laughs) I mean, it went crazy all over the classroom and it almost hit a kid. I received a couple days suspension for it. But I could have received more if it hit someone. Okay, now to the problem. Some of the kids in class are afraid of me and (laughs) and some think they can just get me to do whatever by asking me enough times and convincing me that it'll be okay. How do I make the scare kids... how do I make the scared kids trust me again? How do I make the other kids stop pressuring me into situation? Thanks. P.S. You should definitely have Hoodie Allen on for an episode. What? That's Whoa. amazing. Yeah, did you know that? No. Yo, my fans are crazy. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So can, can you I, I, want, I want to update. Oh, yeah, no. You, oh, no, go you, you say you do your thing. Mm-hmm. I'll get my beat ready. Okay. And wait, wait. Mm. Cool. Okay. Here we go now. <laughs> Brothers. Detroit's in the house. <laughs> Yo. Okay. You got a 
air cartridge. You are a partridge. <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Here it is. This is this is what it is. This is for real. This is for real. Yo, uh, hey, kid, you don't always have to do what people say. Not every. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck you're fu- you're you're trolling me dude no you're so funny man you should do <laughs> jokes keep going keep no, going yeah, sorry. yo <laughs> okay yo jake detroit's in the building here it goes okay yo boy you are cool whether or not they tell you that at school you don't have to worry about what people think you don't have to worry about what they drink soda juice water or tea you are cool to your mother to me <laughs> well i'm still going dude yo okay you oh believe in yourself motherfucker my name's jake my name's J bitch, J money, J money, J money, sucking titties, sucking titties, <laughs> licking clitties. Uh, oh, 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 shit. Dude, oh, oh shit, man! Launching into my other priest. Oh, yeah, it sounded Gucci like Main. it. We out, and then you have to do an explosion noise. All right, I did. I did it. He just kept going. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I did that like ten seconds ago. I got really excited. He survived the blast oh, like a cockroach. Man. Here we go. You. Well, that's just some good, really good advice. Yeah, that there, was pretty right? good. You, listen, listen to the lyrics, not just the <laughs> soda, not just the dope flow. Listen to the lyrics. <laughs> soda, soda water. Has the Cow. dope flow. <laughs> I thought you were gonna be like soda, water, coffee, wine. <laughs> 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 the favorite drinks of a high schooler. Uh. <laughs> All right, uh, spritzers. So my turn. Yeah. But you have to give me the beat. That's your answer? Uh, Yeah, I guess just like, don't worry about what people think. You shouldn't be peer pressured into doing things because you think it'll be cool. Okay. All right. I should... Okay, here we go. (gasps) What was this guy's name? Geronifeld. Geronifeld. Hey, it's Amir Blumenfeld. Going at you live. Going to give you some reassurance. Don't worry about the peer pressure or your parents or your, your moms or your peers or your don't fear. Just have no fear because Amir is here. Geronifeld is Blumenfeld. Here's my advice. Yeah. Okay? Ah. Don't subscribe to magazines like Vice. Don't subscribe to ideas like Don't Kill Mice. Mice. Do what you want to do and not what you don't. Nah. Do what you can and not what you won't. won't. You want to understand what you can't do, nope. so please just stay in school, dude. Stay in school, dude. Gotta stay in school, babe. Gotta stay in school, dude. School. Don't be a bitch. School. Or drop out. Third verse. <laughs> Woody Allen. Oh shit! There's actual pressure to be good. Yeah, yeah. This is you. All right. Well, at least to live up to what we the bar that we set. Yeah. Possibly high. Um, I might fall under it. All right, now I gotta give you the beat. Give me the beat, though. <clears throat> give me the beat, though. And eat. <clears throat> ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. Trap shit. <laughs> Real talk, motherfucker. Geronifeld, listen up. Yo, you're crazy forever. All your friends gonna hate you. What you gonna do? Probably go on a date, dude, with mad chicks. You're the scary ass kid. All them wanna suck your fat ass dick. Yeah, I heard your dick's fat. I heard it's nice and juicy. All the kids is cool. They love fucking your dick. This is what I'm saying. Don't even worry. Shoot everybody. Shoot everybody. Whoa! 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 Holy shit! Whoa! <laughs> that was amazing, <laughs> and the advice was on point too. No. <laughs> um. Wow. Sit back before a little bit of friendly advice. Go a punk and we can solve them. Any fuss will suffice. Send your worries our way. Your troubles not here to stay. Let down the facts and we'll get back to you without a delay. If it just isn't clear about what we should do, there is nothing to fear. We will always be here to help give you a clue. My name's Jake in a mirror, and this is if I were you. Alan Hale writes Hey guys, I don't often use dating sites, but I did just for giggles one time. A girl sent me her number. Keep in mind, I'm 21 and she's 29. I saw her profile pic, and she isn't the most beautiful girl in the world. Go ahead, call me a dick. Okay, I still call her. So we talk for a while, and she and I are nothing alike. Here's a list of things. She is scared of snakes and spiders. She is poor. She has no friends other than her 60-year-old roommate. She doesn't drive. She has acne. She barely has a job. She just had a birthday and she made herself a cake. 
Then she tells me she has a military boyfriend and just wants to be my friend. Minutes later, she tells me she likes me. She playing hard to get or something? The fuck? Should I give her a chance? I mean, I want an animal lover. There's just, <laughs> there's just so many things wrong with her. I want to be nice to her, but I need your opinion. <laughs> Skipper Raven Shore. <laughs> what? This is life. What does he do? I want to know what you had for lunch today. <laughs> for lunch, I had a bag <laughs> and a ham. <laughs> I slept at the foot of my bed last night. <laughs> I woke up, put a shoe on my head, and tried to get on the bus by giving the bus driver a nickel. He said it cost $2. I gave him a bag of baby carrots. <laughs> I got off in between stops, and I rolled home. I did somersaults home. Everything is sort of correct, but a little bit weird in my universe. Uh, you had a funny line when I read you this email originally, which is, you are no. <laughs> <laughs> you are no. <laughs> That's what you are, sir. Sorry, man. You are no. <laughs> Unfortunately, as it stands right now, after reading your email, you're no. You're no. Uh, what's the funniest part? Uh, here's a list of things. It's pretty good. <laughs> That's great. Um, I look... Is she playing hard to get? <laughs> I'm trying to dissect this because I definitely want in. The fuck? I love that he he's concerned that she's afraid of spiders and snakes because he wants an animal lover. Yeah. I want an animal lover that loves so many animals, they love spiders. She, you, <laughs> you don't like her in any way. And you're still wondering, you need our opinion if you should pursue it? <laughs> I think maybe go for a girl that checks a single checkbox. Yeah, she has she's nothing over, that you she's like. She's over 30. <laughs> I think you can find one. You got so many questions, but no one to ask them to. Here comes another one. Did you get yourself into? Come on, you got nothing left to lose. To send an email to. Hey, Amir again. Uh, just wanted to say thank you to one more sponsor for this December 29th episode. Again, very funny. We just we, we recorded the intro without the sponsor, and then we just kept getting them. Here you can see the predicament we were in. Anyway, DraftKings.com, your season-long fantasy football league may be over, but there's still plenty of action every week at DraftKings.com, America's favorite one-week fantasy sports site, where you could win huge cash every time you play. Dave from Boston won a million dollars in one day. Just playing fantasy football at DraftKings. You guys know him. Dave from Boston. So did Matt from Florida. Ray from New Jersey. Basically, people from places have won a lot of money using DraftKings.com. And, and that could be you. In fact, DraftKings has crowned a new millionaire nearly every week this season. And don't forget about their exciting money-making contests in other sports, too, like hockey and college and pro hoops. So head to DraftKings.com now and use promo code JAKE to play free in the $100,000 fantasy football contest this weekend. DraftKings.com. Bigger events, bigger winnings, bigger millionaires. Enter Jake for free entry now at DraftKings.com. That's DraftKings.com. Back to the best questions and answers. <laughs> yeah, Michelle Obama is actually married to... Uh, oh, wait. Obama's married to... Uh, never mind, whatever. All right, ready? <laughs> <laughs> My point was that it's Obama in a wig. <laughs> My point is that Michelle Obama is a guy named Michael Obama who graduated from Syracuse and, he, and he's wearing a wig and he wrote this email. Ready? Thank you. <clears throat> My stepdad looks at porn on his laptop quite a lot. If I ever have to use his computer, he doesn't delete his history much, so it's pretty clear which sites he goes to. I don't care that he does this. I mean, who doesn't look at porn? My problem is this. He doesn't get what are safe sites to go on. Not being tech-savvy, I guess he finds what he wants mainly through Googling it, which leads him to clicking on some unsafe sites, which has given his laptop more than its fair share of viruses or other problems, which makes it rather slow. He doesn't seem to get that's causing his problems and blames it on our internet connection, even going so far as to making us change carriers to try to fix it. 
Is there any way I can somehow let him know what is really causing this problem or possibly direct him to some safer sites? Our relationship isn't casual enough that I feel comfortable bringing up the topic bluntly. Thanks. Michelle Carter Williams. Wow. Solid question. I love that question. I love that the dad uh, is blaming like Time Warner. Like, oh, this is garbage. We're switching to AT&T. <laughs> uh, it's the, also all because he's like trying to get his porn fast. Yeah. <laughs> it's the absolute root of all of the problems. <laughs> like, all right. The porn's not going fast enough. I'm, hey, we're going to switch carriers because we can't stream Netflix well, or something. <laughs> but your search history is just a series of uh, smut sites, daddy. Fuck ass. Damn it. <laughs> this is her stepdad too, right? Yeah. It's uh, you can't bring it up. I also a girl, a girl's writing this question. She's concerned about her stepdad. What a thoughtful, caring person who just wants her dad, her stepdad, yeah, to like get to porn faster and not mess with his computer. Well, I think it's a little more selfish than that. I think she she uses the computer too. All right, so this dad is like trying to adapt to technology. I think that's cool. He's like down to use uh, porn on his computer. I think yeah. that's good. That's taking a step. He just doesn't know how to use it correctly. That's right. Just Maybe like parents don't use Facebook correctly. They don't use um, pornography, online internet porn. It's correctly. hard because there's no class that you can give. You should teach a porn watching class at like an adult community college. That would be a waste of my time. Don't Why? Because they probably don't pay me bank, and I, I don't do shit. I don't leave my house for less than four Gs. You know? Oh, you know what my day rate is? <laughs> what are you talking about? I like won't make an appearance for less than five K. I just thought I you ain't thought... gonna impart knowledge on some old ass <laughs> motherfucker who can't get off. Who doesn't know how to get to youporn.com? Jesus. That'll be like fucking 5K. I don't know. <laughs> 5K? Dude, I'm trying to make money. I know. You know I don't get behind this mic for less than 5K. <laughs> yes, you do. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? Our sponsorships are way less than that. Are you serious? We also did shows for several months before we even had a sponsor. What is? What am I doing? You're not even getting paid. It also goes into a separate fund. You haven't seen a dime of this money. We've spent it all on on billboards and, uh, and, and fundraisers for ladies who want to go to Ghana. Rich? No. Really? Yeah. Are you dead serious I right think, now? Yeah, I think, yeah. Oh, wait a second. My dad is. Yeah. <laughs> so aren't I rich now? <laughs> no, I mean, that's his money. Not yet. Not all of it's his money. He puts money into my account, thus making it my money. What are you talking about? I have some of my dad's money. <laughs> so I actually have a lot of money. I guess. You guess. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, since my dad puts fifty thousand dollars a week into my bank account, does that mean I don't grand? have fifty grand a week unless I ask for more, which I often do. Then so you, does that make it his money? Yeah. It's no. in my account? No, then at that I, point at that point you are rich. So you think but I'm you rich should now. not be proud. I'm not proud. You are rich. proud. You're I'm a little proud. <laughs> You're happy I think and proud of that fact. I think it's cool. I think I can do whatever I want. That's great. <laughs> I love my mom. I love my dad's money. I love my sisters and my brother, too. I love my whole family, except my dad. I love my mom, man. I love my dad's money. You love your whole family, except for your dad, because he's the only one that gives you money, so you just love the money instead of your dad. I love the money. Don't love my dad. My dad's okay. He's still my friend, especially because he gives me money. I love my mom. I love my dad's money. I love my sisters and my brother too <laughs> oh you fucking asshole you idiot coward <laughs> whoa relax yeah. relax <laughs> Scott Buck shout out Jake and Amir What's the deal? Got a big problem. You fucked a bitch and didn't wear a condom. You love a girl, you thought I loved you too. You found out she fucked some dude. Or you gotta go to dinner with this one chick's dad cause you wanna get in it quick. You wanna get intimate, you just wanna get away. Or maybe you watch too much porn on the internet. Maybe you're atheist, but your parents ain't and they hate the shit. And your best friends with a basic bitch and wanna know what Jay and they make of it. Hit them up with the Gmail, they might help you out in that podcast. Get a fake name, half ass advice, and if you use a pussy, put on blast. Like, if I were, if I
Alex Honnold writes, Hey guys, I got accepted to a scientific PhD scholarship, which will start soon. The workplace is very nice. Good weather, no stress or traffic, and the work environment is friendly. The problem is that I cannot get out of my mind some business ideas I have. So I'm really not focused or motivated for the PhD. But the scholarship will get me a steady income for some years in contrast with the serious risks of starting a business in the middle of an economic crisis. Should I throw myself to the sea and find out if I drown or swim? Love the show. Wish the best for you. Alex Honnold. Wow. Hmm. Honnold. Sticky, sticky, sticky situation. Well, he's got business ideas. Well, yeah. I've got some business <laughs> ideas, actually. <laughs> I'd be down to become a doctor, but on the other hand... I have an idea for a business. <laughs> I actually have a couple ideas for different businesses. <laughs> One of the business ideas is actually pretty dope. <laughs> yeah. So I'm considering doing that instead of becoming a doctor with a steady income with good weather and a friendly work environment. And last time I checked, some businesses actually do pretty damn well. <laughs> you ever heard of a li little business called Nike? <laughs> Yeah. How so, about Starbucks? How it works is people buy shoes and coffee and you get a cut. Yeah. Yeah. So businesses <laughs> don't seem to be too bad of an idea, do they now? In fact, I can't think of a single business that's failed between <laughs> Nike, Starbucks, just glancing over this New York Stock Exchange app that I have. These yeah. are all seemingly pretty Check profitable out, ideas. GE? That's yeah. a good one. <laughs> Right, okay, right off the bat, this one, Universal. Yeah. They seem to make they, make real bang. And actually, Clear Channel, Clear Channel <laughs> actually has a pretty sizable, <laughs> sizable net worth. Yeah, and I'm looking at a, I'm looking at a steady revenue uh, stream, and uh, yeah. I can imagine these Warner Brothers that started Warner Brothers are uh, pretty, pretty loaded. I, I think. bet they're well off. And to be perfectly <laughs> honest, my business idea isn't much different than theirs. If I were you, if I were you, I'd know exactly what to do. So trust me, I trust in you. Listen to my dope and buy. You see the cheese, then bounce so gracefully. Are you ready for some honesty? See the cheese. Can I get another, I believe, guy's name? Like I wanted to give like another type of volcanic rock, but well, this guy's name's Magma <laughs> Dirt. <laughs> Magma Dirt writes, I've come into a bit of a predicament. Yesterday, I got back from a week-long vacation with my friend. Please While don't I was... beat the shit out of your friend, please. <laughs> While I was away, my brother was supposed to feed my hamster every day. When I got home, I found that my hamster had been starved to death. In a fit of rage, I attacked my brother, and, no, he, no, what? And, and he ended up in a serious concussion. What the fuck? The issue here is my parents don't know about my hamster, and I was keeping him in my room secretly because he, they told me I was not allowed to have any pets. Now my parents think I attacked my brother for no, what the fuck? for no reason, and he's just going along with it. They're even saying they're going to send me to therapy or some shit. What do I do? Do I tell them, I tell them the truth? My parents are extremely strict, and I'd probably get into serious trouble and lose my Xbox. Help. What would you get into more trouble for? <laughs> Having a hamster or beating the shit out of your brother for no reason? It sounds like... I don't know. The hamster. The hamster. He's no gonna lose way! His, he said he's going to lose his Xbox. And but, like, I don't, think, I don't think having a hamster is a good enough reason to beat, like... If you if you are like hey homeboy killed his hamster yeah, I beat the shit out out, out of um, what was this this guy's name was magma, magma dirt. dirt I beat this shit out of <laughs> lava um, dirt lava dirt because he because he murdered my hamster you're that is just gonna be like you weren't supposed to have a hamster right it's but not now, like a good enough reason to beat the shit but out it of might someone. be like one of those things where it's a tragedy because the hamster died so maybe you won't get in trouble oh, like, like did you ever feel bad like for you yeah. Like, maybe if you, like, weren't supposed to, like, go out or something that night, but, like, you snuck out, but then, like, you broke your arm. It's like your parents oh, aren't yeah. going to be mad at you. They're going to just try to help you. <laughs> oh, they're going to be like, oh, you idiot. You got yourself into trouble yep, again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's like you learned your own lesson. If you have a hamster, right. it'll die. your no, brother you're, will kill I it. Think parents really love honesty. So even if you've done something wrong, like, all they'll be thinking about mm -hmm. is, like, 
that you came clean. So they'll be really happy. So you just sit them down and be like, look, I know I wasn't supposed to, but I had a hamster. And they're like, what? And, and lava. <laughs> lava starved him to death. And that's why I hit him. I know I shouldn't have done it, but I just wanted you to know I had a reason. Right. Also, a nice little not, dramatic- also not cool that he beat. He gave his brother a concussion by <laughs> yeah. beating him. That's bad, right? It's um, really bad, yeah. If you're upset because uh, your brother didn't care for a life, you just didn't care for his yeah. life. Yeah. Do you understand? And you're a human. He's and a human. He's a human, not a hamster. The hamster... I could step on 90 hamsters today and everything would be fine. No. I could kill. (laughs) No. I'm not going to do it, but like they're pretty inconsequential as an animal. As far as animals are concerned. I think it's okay. You still should starve. I, his brothers, also, everyone in this... How does he know that the brothers starved it? What did he do? He came <laughs> he back and was autopsy. like, this thing clearly starved to death. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, it's a hamster. It Sometimes just... they just die. Did you just get it from hamsters a pet store? Are, uh, hamsters are fat little dudes. He was a skinny little dude. <laughs> it's like Murph. He was 100, he was like 190 <laughs> pounds. He was a... He shrunk was a down freaking, to a welterweight. Yeah, he was a... <laughs> He was a fat, swole little hamster when he left him. He came back. He was a bitchly 165 pounds. <laughs> 165 pounds. He was a bitchly little hamster, and you know it, Lava. You no, I guarantee. Foot. He probably came back, and he's like, how's my hamster? And he's like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, like, can you imagine me. the fucking deer in headlights look that <laughs> that brother gave? They just raised like, him. Whoa! It's a full-on race to the cage. Oh, like, yeah. oh, it's fine. It's fine. Like, it might be. <laughs> no! I'll get him some water. I'll get him some water. He's probably just been playing on the wheel. <laughs> I'm concussed. Mother! Mother! Ooh. If I were you, would Jake and me? Talking about if I were you Shedding a tear I said if I were you I'd make up my mind real quick If Jake was you He'd probably let you suck his dick Dick Dick. (laughs) That's what the song is really about Dick that's what the song's about Oh, Jake's old dick It's got a nice D I saw it in the shower yesterday It's ways and flows like this But you don't know until you see him piss Holding hands Looking at each other in the eyes and kissing that's why we hold each other's hands We look at each other's eyes And we kiss four dudes Kissing I were you Four dudes kissing I were you Staring in each other's eyes If I were you you fucked a kimono dragon. <laughs> oh, oh that's no. That's dangerous, man. Their spit will kill you, dude. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, they got poisonous, mad poisonous spit. <laughs> shit. shit. You're cool, man. <laughs> shit, dude. Yo, Talk- shit, that Thomas, he knows a lot about dragons. Yo, Yo, man, what, other fa- what other facts do you know, dude? I know that they're fast. They'll really run after you. <laughs> Wait, you got to run against the them. They're, oh, they're aggressive. <laughs> they're territorial. And they spit mad. Can poison. you own one? Is that a thing to own or not? Nah, dude, you can't own no Komodo. <laughs> okay. Especially not here in the city, man. Shit. <laughs> okay. Why are you saying shit? What happened? Man, just because I think about that one time. <laughs> what happened? What, what happened, dude? <laughs> man, that one time I saw a Komodo dragon. Yeah, of course. On the internet. And, and I was like, I ain't never going to see one in real life. And then? I realized it was true. <laughs> oh man, I can oh. show you a Komodo dragon. There's the LA Zoo has one. No joke. No. Yeah, dude, you go to the zoo, they have them. You, Shut your mouth. <laughs> no, for real. You go up to the zoo. It's right near where like where Warner Brothers is. Don't be an asshole. I think you're just saying catchphrases now because you're not listening to me. <laughs> hey, did I do that? Oh uh, no, now you're saying '90s, early '90s. Anyone want saying. some cheese? <laughs> that. Is that from the same TV show? Yeah, yeah. baby. It's Urkel. You it's did Cool Urkel, Urkel but you not Stefan Urkel. No. A different cooler Stefan. <laughs> Stefan Urquil. <laughs> Stefan Urquil. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Jake and Amir have a show. 
But it's not the one you probably know They're not the awful people they pretend to be And that one here they're real But it's still a lot of fun, oh Don't get me wrong, they're still really awful people Especially Jake But we love them still We can't stop listening, no, we can't stop tuning in If I were you, I'd hope Podcast show. All right, ready? I'm going to read it for the first time. You're going to have to listen to it. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Falling asleep instantly. Reading a graphic novel. All right, ready? Yeah. I am a student who will be going to university in the fall, so I thought I would get a summer job to make some money. Eventually, I found a decent job that pays well, so all seemed to be fine. However... When I first walked from my house to where I was going to be picked up from the job, an aggressive bird swooped down from the trees right outside my house and passed my head. I could, I could hear his feathers rustle. He was, so, he was so close. And he took two more swoops at me before I finally got out of the area. Needless to say, this malevolent mockingbird scared the shit out of me. The bird bastard now sits on a lamppost and stares at me. And stares at me whenever I st- <laughs> This bird bastard now sits on a lamppost and stares at me. <laughs> whenever I start to leave my house, and tries to- <laughs> and tries to attack me almost every single time I walk past him. <laughs> He only backs off once I start running away. (laughs) He only backs off once I start running away or swinging at him with whatever I'm holding. This nefarious foul has become a real pain as I never want to leave my house. He he attacks my friends and family too. What should I do to get this bastard bird to leave leave me alone so that people won't be afraid to come to my house anymore so that I can safely get to my summer job? Love number two. Oh, my God. (laughs) I'm crying. That was... It's funny because if birds wanted to, they could just ruin a life. <laughs> like, what would you do if a bird rot <laughs> You would be fucked. If two pigeons decide to ruin your life, they could. No, they couldn't. Yes, they could. If I could kill a pigeon. <laughs> Ow. So my fuck, I'll punch it. <laughs> if two, uh, fine, if eight pigeons wanted to ruin your life, they could. Punch. You'd what, call the police on I pigeons? I would punch all of them. You cannot punch pigeons. If eight pigeons were attacking get a, you. Then I get a BB gun. Whoa. Come at me, pigeon. <laughs> Let's see it. Would you? How would you get it? You this, can is what, this is what the movie Birds is based on. <laughs> if birds wanted to, they could take over the world. Like, we have not, I have nothing around me that would... I guess I could use your baseball bat and just swing wildly at the bird. <laughs> I like, yeah. We should do a preemptive attack. You're actually kind of freaking me out. We gotta kill all birds. <laughs> actually, there's one outside right now. Give me the bat. Fuck, dude. Let's fucking play bird baseball. We should kill every bird. Um, and it, uh, oh, It's so funny. <laughs> he stares at me when I'm in my house. <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking waits. Nefarious foul. <laughs> My friends are afraid to come over. <laughs> it started off by saying, like, I have a summer job and I don't know how to balance this stuff. Also, a bird attacks me and I, I don't know what to do. I have a bully that's a, that's, a, that's a crow. Yeah, a winged beast. A winged beast bully. A beaked bully. Uh, I guess there's nothing you can, I don't know. Hurt, the, you can get a slingshot. BB gun. Um, or... Kill it with kindness. That's right. Take a kind bar and put it in the slingshot. <laughs> I think, no, or you can get a bird feeder and feed it every day. Just bring it little pieces of bread or seeds. Yeah. And then, and and then, then like make fiberglass, it your friend. fiberglass in the seeds. Yeah. No, no, no. That no, way really, when it eats it, it just you know, shreds. Like when you're in elementary inside. school and you like pull the girl whose hair, uh, pull the girls uh, who you have a crush on, you pull her hair. Oh, so this bird's just trying to fuck this I think, guy. Yeah. I think he's like, he's just attracted to him. Yeah. I think, I think the bird just likes you. Yeah. Maybe you look like a bird yourself. Maybe you have like a beak, a long nose or something. And uh, maybe, feathers and, yeah. uh, and wings. Yeah. I started to think this whole email was written by none other than a bird. Did it specify that he was human? It says at the end, P.S. I'm a bird. 
So yeah, it's just so bird on bird bullying. Yeah. We're all human. Humankind is safe. Um, all right. Next real question. Saturday morning, I flip through my phone just to see what's Gucci. Tinder's my game. I use a fake name just to get some Gucci. Pull up my pants and nice laundry socks and the new me undies. I just want a snack from her nature box. She's a real life cutie in her profile pics. Swipe right, swipe right, cause I need to know. Gotta earn this booty, better make it quick. She's a 10 cent piece and a goddamn smoke show. Won't you tell me what to do? On the show if I were you. Maybe I'm a douchebag too. I'm gonna email him anyway. It's Emily from the Sex with Emily podcast. My podcast is all about helping you get the relationship and sex life you deserve. For over 10 years, I've helped millions of people get what they want in and out of the bedroom. On my show, you'll learn sex tips, relationship tips, and I guarantee you will be more confident, get more, and give more pleasure and have better sex just by listening to my show. That's Sex with Emily on Podcast One. That's O-N-E. That's O-N-E. 